Chapter Eight: Protecting Our Islands. Earth's islands have amazing animals and plants, but life on islands is often in danger. Species can become extinct, and some islands could even disappear. So it's important to protect our islands. Disappearing islands. Our cars, factories, and power stations produce too many gases like carbon dioxide. Earth is getting warmer because there's too much carbon dioxide in the air. This is called global warming. Global warming means that there are more storms and rain. More ice is melting in the Arctic and the Antarctic, so the sea level is getting higher, and some islands are disappearing. A few islands between India and Bangladesh have already disappeared under water. Some islands in the Pacific Ocean will probably disappear in a hundred years if we don't slow down global warming. Some of the Maldive Islands in the Indian Ocean will probably disappear sooner. Most of the land is less than two meters above sea level. We can try to slow down global warming by making less carbon dioxide. We can drive and fly less, and we can use cleaner cars. We should use less coal and oil to make electricity. There are cleaner ways of making electricity. Discover. To help the Maldive Islands, people are designing new islands and towns that float. These islands won't disappear under water. Disappearing species. Global warming is changing life on islands. When the sea level gets higher. Some species don't have a place to live. Storms and floods can kill plants and animals. Coral dies when seawater gets too warm. Thousands of species live around coral reefs, but they can't live there if the coral is dead. We can help species on islands by slowing down global warming. When too many tourists visit small islands. It's sometimes bad for plant and animal life. We can protect special islands by making them a conservation area. The islands in this photo are a conservation area in Thailand. They are a safe place for plants and animals to live. Islands that are protecting Earth. The Svalbard Islands are in the Arctic Ocean. Global warming probably won't melt Svalbard's ice, and its high mountains probably won't disappear under water. This is why scientists from Norway built the Svalbard Global Seed Vault there in 2008. It's a place where they will store an example of each of Earth's 1.5 million seeds. A plant could disappear because of global warming or a natural disaster. But it won't become extinct. That's because people can grow another plant from the seeds in the global seed vault. Discover. The global seed vault is inside a rocky mountain at the end of a long tunnel. Most seeds will stay fresh at minus eighteen degrees centigrade for twenty thousand years. 